That melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby ballad. Or wait, no. It's their old stand uh, I don't know who's supposed to be talking there. I guess it is the fishy. I entered your business because I heard this song at the carnival time long ago. By doing performances, I thought I'd be get to the, the singers of that song. The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, the mother of the current lead singers, as early as I was her daughter born and then turned into a musical note. Anyway, totally ruining the emotional tension here. As he forgives you and takes his mask, and now he's sad. Yeah, this is like the most depressing mask. Uh, it looks like an ordinary mask. He's a little sadder than normal. And it freaking cries. It tears fly around everywhere. And it's really not all that useful. You don't ever need to use it because the only thing it's really useful for is starving off, yeah, starving off the G Gorman brothers, which should have already happened if you were able to get into the milk bar, considering you do that and then get the milk bar hat as a reward. That's cool if you want to redo it, and it's also adds a lot of plot development too, which is another reason I think this game is just really cool like that. Okay, heading on in here. Oh no, Andrew's going on without me. I keep thinking I need to switch to the Kefi mask even though I don't. Cafe, sorry. I'm sure people are going to reassure me that it is in fact Kefi because Americaners aren't very good at pronounce. But, meh. Can I get up on the table? No. Huh, I could potentially bottle that bug, but that would be pointless. Okay, so yeah, we've already seen this, I think. Maybe I skipped through this already the last time I did it, but sorry if I did. I will make an extra set of bonus videos just for this side quest, I guess. Because I'm going to be doing it one more time because I'm sort of weird, I guess. Whoops, I don't know why I thought I could equip that like a mask, but I wanted to. Anyway, something pretty cool when you're trying to do this quest quickly without other stuff in between it. Yeah, I was thinking I could somehow work this in along with the Great Bay Temple, but I really don't think that would have... I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but I don't think it would have worked out so well. And I just really didn't want to mess with it. So, I, I mean, this is going to be one of my least successful cycles, but this has, like, too much emotional baggage with it, and I'll freak out if I'm not devoting the entire cycle to it or something. And... Yeah, I'm just trying to work out stuff in my mind, but... Let's head back over to the watering pool, and something pretty cool I figured out was this, and by this I mean just arbitrarily doing this right now instead of in five seconds when I could do it twice in a row because Kate Cafe doesn't get the thingy until thingy. And hooray, this frog's back. I sort of resent the frogs even though they're cute and make a good song um, for being too much trouble for one heart piece. They should have at least given you a heart container or something. Dun, 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 pushing frogs into water. Okay, now it's in water. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, this isn't actually like a cool exploit or anything, but... It is good to know that you can sort of speed run this side quest by just making it night. But I was curious about if it would work or not because Cafe says, "Oh, you're the kid with the green clothes that Angie wrote about." But um, he just lets you, and you don't actually have to sneak in while he's talking to the postman. That's what my guide implied you had to do. So I had just been doing that. Green hat, green gloves. Seems you're looking. Isn't a hat technically a clothes? Anyway, take off your Pikachu mask. He's really a Raichu. Yep, I am Cafe. I can't do it. I I want to give him an interesting voice, and I don't know how to do that, so I'm just gonna let you read it. 
And again, I don't know why I'm listening to all this when I'm just doing this for the reward because I want to do this quest explicitly by itself or something. Da -na -na -na. Anyway, this is like a horrible, horrible, horrible item right here. I mean, obviously it's nice, but the bad thing is Cafe basically does whatever he wants as long as he's gotten that letter from Anju, but if you don't give this to Anju, she doesn't wait for Cafe on the final night after he recovers his mask that he wants, and if you go there, it'll show him coming into an empty room, and that just sort of sounds horrible, and I sort of want to do it out of morbid curiosity just to see what the scene would be and what the actual text is and stuff, but I have a feeling I would end up getting too depressed or something. Anyway, we're actually pretty much in the clear now that we can give this to her. And I keep thinking you can Z-target people and press the item button and they'll take the item. Did you meet him? I like how her expression changes. Yeah, I just think little things like that make this game much, much better than Ocarina of Time. I mean, that that's sort of an unfair uh, thing to say, since Ocarina Time doesn't even try for side quests and it has no reason to give people that many facial expressions or anything, but... I don't know, um... Sort of moved by this quest to the extent that I can really be moved by anything as a emotionless robot. I like all the gargoyle type art styles, I don't know. Okay, this is stupid, and luckily now that I have the ice arrows, I will never have to do it again. Oh yes, opponent, I'm sure you are already in. I can't... I can't... Oh, whatever. I don't like opponent in this game. I don't like opponent at all. I really don't like horses that much. They're okay, is what I think about them. Kind of overrated by generic people, I guess. I don't know, they're not bad, it's just Epona is not a very good mechanic because it's too hard to summon her. Anyway... Uh, yes, just walk. Let me get off! Anyway, yeah, the, actually it's gonna be a pretty simple matter to prepare for the, uh, fourth temple. Considering, uh, whoops. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice mask. Et cetera, et cetera. But, um... Buzz, buzz, buzz. I'm a bumbly bee. Why do I not ever remember what I was saying? Oh yeah, this entire area is going to be a lot quicker since I already did all the stuff in the graveyard. I mean, it's not a huge amount of stuff, but just having that out of the way did make my practice run of up to the stone tower a lot simpler. I think I may have just made this game, like, impossibly long in my... From my vague memories of playing it as a kid when I was scared of everything, and I don't like the Garrow mask because it makes Garrows appear. Why is that a good power? Anyway, Oaks. We know how to deal with Oaks, except for when we don't have arrows. Yeah, if we don't have arrows, we're sort of screwed in that matter. I can't see it, but I can sense there's a thirst for blood. That's a little morbid. Thirst for blood? Well, the thirst for blood might have arrows in it, so let's go for it. Thirst for blood. You're not a real Garo. I like how the ghost appears out of nowhere and says, What are you? Because you're all weird and stuff. Okay, what is your wisdom? Cross the valley. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Can I have some arrows? Fag. Whoops, that was the wrong- oh, oh wait, yeah, I was heading this way because I wanted to see if the bubbles would maybe have arrows sometimes. Okay, they've dropped three hearts, three rupees, I think they can just drop things. Nothing specific. I don't 
don't want to be jinxed. I don't want to bother playing the Song of Storms. I need to use my arrows. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, come on. I was flashing red for a second there. That means I'm no longer flashing blue, right? Whatever. Screw you two. Um. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, well, I'll find stuff in the next stuff. I really didn't need to waste any of the time doing that, but whatever. You saw that Garrow. That was technically, like, sort of relevant to the plot of this area, and because I'm a lazy bum, I'm not going to be fighting any other Garrows because it's too much effort. 